Hey, Missy B London here, and I've, I, guess what? I tried to dye my hair a different colour, and I used the Revlon Realistic Vivid Colour Black Cherry Proton, Proton? Protein Infused Permanent Colour. Here it is. That's the colour, how it will come out, or how it was supposed to come out in my head, but it didn't come out that colour in my head that's the side that let me think you know i got black hair that's how it will come out in my hair but like i said it didn't come out like that it's a subtle ish brown ish color i think it's only noticeable in sunlight even though i got extra lighting on me but yeah i left it in for like over half an hour yeah i was hoping to get a purple like the box said or cherry color like the box said but you know what it could be worse my hair is not broken it seems to be okay i've got to look after it i just created this hairstyle in another video which i'm guessing you'll see later on but yeah this this is it <laughs> nothing much but yeah i'm a bit sad that it wasn't really like this but you know what in light and when I got the light against my well, when I got the light against my hair I can see the strands is ready not black like how it used to be before or you know what I mean but I don't know if you can really pick it up in or the camera can really pick this up in this lighting so I will take some pictures outside in sunlight so you can like properly or if you notice the colour change, I'm just hot right now. I had to turn the fan off just to do this little clip. But yeah, I'm just, look look at me. I'm just hot. But yeah, that was it. I might try to dye my hair again in a couple of months time when it's a safe time to dye my hair. But yeah, what can I say? Could be better. I like my lip colour though. Look at that. Kind of goes with the hair. But yeah, what do you think? Can you notice a difference? <laughs> I don't think you can can you but yeah like i said i used this i didn't want to use like a blonde i didn't want a drastic color so it was kind of okay i would have liked it to be more poppy but you know what so be it but thank you for watching my video anyway and i hoped you learned something from it or it helped you in some way and i'll catch you in the next video see you bye So let's start with the voiceover. Here is the box, the Revlon Realistic Vivid Colour in Black Cherry, just showing you the side of it. And here are the contents, what was inside the box. As you can see, and what else I needed, hairbands, scissors, a comb and a container. I like the instruction bit at the bottom, nine, well, 11 simple steps to do to color your hair my hair here is freshly washed shrinkage is for real and it's dried as well yeah because you got to, you got to dye your hair on dry hair and i've sectioned it into four sections here four sections i'm showing you in the video and now this little clip you'll see me making the mixture I made a little mistake here. I was supposed to put the color in first and then the developer because the color had number one, as you can see, and the other one had number two. But you know what? You just got to mix them both together anyway. So <laughs> it still came out all right. But yeah, that's what I did. You just see me mix them with the wooden spatula. Mix, mix, mix in my plastic container make sure it's a plastic or ceramic container you know how it goes with chemicals and metal so do not mix it in metal and make sure the thing you're stirring it with is plastic or wooden yeah i struggled getting the gloves on i was hot getting your hands in the gloves and your hands are clammy yeah there was a struggle there <laughs> i just kept this bit in I just you know what just keep this in but yeah, still struggling to get my hand in the glove. Look at it. And I swear I've got big hands and these gloves are not big hand friendly as well. 
even though I had other gloves, you just I didn't I couldn't bother to get the other gloves, but yeah. Now you see me put the other hand on or the other glove on. <laughs> you know what? Like I'm saying, it's been a very hot couple of months and I'm struggling, so you're gonna see me dab my head with a tissue or just wipe it with my arm because I just it's just hot. I'm surprised I recorded these videos yet because it was just so hot, it was hard work. Yeah, and both the gloves are on my hand now. I'm just watching this video, talking through what you see in this voiceover. I'm just showing you <laughs> the colour in the container and the box again. Black cherry, Revlon realistic. The colour black there and how you think it will come out at the bottom, which you saw in the beginning it didn't come out like that but you know what let's go through the process anyway yeah dab dab because i'm hot and then it's like i wasn't sure how to apply it in my hair but then i realized oh yeah think about how when you put relaxer in your hair you put your hair in sections in small sections and you just put it in because i went a little bit my brain looked, went a little bit funny. I just couldn't remember. Then I remembered the process. I think this is the first time me... Actually, no, no. I used to dye my hair back in the days. This has been a long time since I've used this kind of box dye, though. But, yeah. You see me putting it in. That small section. You just put it in. I didn't want to put it cl too close to my root. Hence why there's a little inch or under an inch. Where I started to put it in. Even though in the rest you'll see me... You see how I put it on, but I didn't want to really put it near my root because it's a chemical and it's this is like for my hair and not for my roots. But you know what? It's all good anyway. My hair is fine. This video was done last week. I dyed my hair last week and we're in August now and my hair is doing good. I trimmed my hair and I gave it a good deep condition and like I said, it's doing good. Thank goodness for that. But then I know I've got strong hair anyway, so yeah. Yeah, you'll just see me continue to put the hair colour in my hair. Yeah, you know what? Maybe it was a sign that the colour of this was not the colour on the box. As in, you think it would have been more of a purpley colour, not a red colour. But you know what? I just went with it and yeah, this is how it came out anyway. If you saw at the beginning, you'll see, you would have seen a colour. I'm just showing you the process in this bit and doing the voiceover to go with it as well. But yeah, this is it. Just putting the colour in my hair. Yeah, and you know that I speed the video up as well. Um, I left the colour in my hair for more than 30 minutes and I think by right I should have left it in a little less but I took a risk and left it in for over 30 minutes but like I said luckily my hair is good so yeah and it might have been a thing because it's the first time using this box dye and maybe this colour that's why the colour didn't come out like how I expected it to come out but I've got colour in my hair, it's there, you can see it in sunlight, I wish it was a bit more brighter, but you know what, I can work with it. Like I said, there's no hair damage to my hair, my hair is fine, so yeah, um, it's all good. I do plan to dye my hair again in a couple months time, because that's a safe time to dye your hair. It's not good to dye your hair very regular because of hair damage, so if you give your hair a little break and then couple of months time you can dye it again that's what i'm gonna do and that is my advice for you if you are thinking of dyeing your hair very quickly after you've just colored your hair so yeah yeah i've done the first two front sections and now i'm just doing the back sections same process i didn't turn around so you can see how i can do it because you know what it's a thing that i don't know what i'm doing at the back myself and to see it on the camera i was a bit eh, eh. but you can see i do turn around later on so you can see the color or how the color is later on but yeah as any of you guys dyed your hair before 
did it come out how you wanted it to come out was it good was it bad will you be dyeing your hair again soon do you have any hair dye color advice it seems to be it's harder to color black hair or afro natural hair than other types of hair so yeah any advice let me know what you think and do you like the color that came out at the beginning or how it was at the beginning shall i say let me know but yeah i'm on to the last bit of my hair yeah like i said i was hot these extra lights are killing me right now if only i can film outside but i've not got a garden so the only thing that i can do outside is like vlogging or just do my rants on the street that's what i'm saying if i had a garden yeah i'll do all this in the garden yeah hair stuff in the garden because it would be just so much more cooler than to be in my in my room in my living room or in my kitchen doing this filming because these lights are just killing me right now i'm telling you the heat the extra heat yeah it's just too much but yeah i think i'm on to the last bit of the color in my hair <laughs> i lost count how much times i'm there wiping my head you know my days the sweat is for real my head hot is for real huh. that's all i can say yeah i've got a few gray hairs i must admit it didn't really color my gray hair like how i thought it would have but i'm guessing it's just a normal hair dye it's not a hair dye speciated to color white hair or gray hair so yeah it's all good yeah just i don't know just coming through my hair again make sure the color is on every strand of my hair wiping my head again it was easy to wash out as well thank goodness for that so yeah no issues washing it out it was perfectly fine i used a shampoo phyto specific just to wash out my hair because there was no shampoo in the box to use so you got to use your own shampoo as well I think you'll see that clip afterwards. Or maybe not. Okay, yep. I've just washed my hair and it says to use this leave-in conditioner, which is here. And I will do. This was in the box. I'm guessing it's a special formulation of leave-in conditioner after you've just dyed your hair. So, yeah, they should have put more in it, though, but, eh, it's all right. Look at my hands, though. You know my hands have been in a lot of water because it's all funny. But, yeah. Yeah, just putting this through my hair. Like I said, I think they should have put more in because, hello, Afro hair just absorbs stuff quickly yeah so yeah yeah I'm just putting it through yeah and it says to put this in your hair when it's damp as well hence why my neck back was wet because my hair is still damp but yeah just putting it through yep here it is you can see the color a bit actually naturally stretch my hair by doing a flat twist and then combing it out the following day don't watch the unevenness anyway i trimmed my hair so it should look better in future videos like i said this color has come out just brownish it comes out more better in sunlight but hey this is how it is yeah i'm just watching yeah this camera's not picking it up too much you know the color or the gradient color from root to the hair but eh, what can i do anyway thank you for watching anyway i hope this was useful stay tuned for more hair videos and reviews and product reviews if you're new please subscribe if you're returning thank you for watching my video and i'll see you in the next video and read the screen what i wrote in the review <laughs>